At the time the maintenance of way equipment train stopped at C.P. McPherson, the striking coal train was proceeding east on the same track, about 3.7 miles behind. The next signal was a grade signal that governed entry into the track segment occupied by the maintenance of way equipment train. As the striking coal train continued upgrade, the alerter alarmed after two minutes of no activity and was reset. As the grade signal came into view, speed had reduced to 14 miles an hour. The grade signal was displaying a red aspect that allowed the engineer to proceed without stopping at restricted speed, a speed low enough to allow stopping short of another train. The striking coal train passed the grade signal at 13 miles an hour. Restricted speed was required from this point forward. After about two minutes with no activity, the alerter alarmed and was reset. Shortly thereafter, the engineer made a throttle reduction. About two minutes later, speed had dropped to 10 miles an hour, and the engineer increased the throttle. As the train crested the grade, speed increased as more of the train's cars came onto the downgrade. After two minutes of no activity, the alerter alarmed again and was reset. The engineer immediately reduced the throttle. Over the next minute, the engineer made no control inputs and speed had increased to 20 miles an hour when the rear of the maintenance of way equipment train came into view. Over the next 46 seconds, with the rear car of the maintenance of way train clearly in view, the engineer made no control inputs and train speed increased to 23 miles an hour at impact. Although the stopped train ahead was clearly in view, neither crew member on the striking coal train activated the braking system. The collision occurred a few seconds past 6.55 a.m. Both crew members on the striking coal train were fatally injured. Had the accident not occurred, the alerter would have alarmed again a few seconds after impact.